One of the things I've learned about my business is that I have let my weight affect my business. And this is hard to admit, this is one of the harder topics I've ever talked about, but last night I was having a conversation with a friend and we were talking about um, my, my brilliant branding photographer, Alice, who showed me about two years ago how important getting photos done was. And I resisted this for so long. I thought I could have a few headshots, maybe from here up, um, I would have her make me look good and that that would be it. And everything else I would share in my business would be visuals or memes or inspirational posts, etc. And I did that for a long time in my business and I avoided looking at myself for a long time, like avoided looking at myself in the mirror. And I thought that if I just avoided looking at myself, that everything would be fine, that it would go away, that I would like be able to hate myself into success. And uh, working with Alice, I learned that creating photos is a way to help people know you better. And if you are the face of your brand, people really want to know that they're dealing with you. Problem was, I just keep gaining weight as I get older and I deal with hormone issues. Like I'm, I struggle with my weight and I've talked about that a lot. I've also done a lot of work this year around weight and body image to come into acceptance of where I am and be kinder to myself because I learned that the kinder I am to myself, the more happy I am and also the more my business grows. But I will tell you, my weight has affected my business, but not in the way you think. So what I thought would happen is like, oh, I'm going to put photos out there and people are going to be turned off by the weight that I've gained or how I look or that I'm getting older. And what I realized is that was really hindering me. Uh, thinking that people wouldn't notice my weight, I had to just stop worrying about that because it was really holding me back. And I really wanted to grow my business, not only because I wanted to make money, but because I never want another woman to feel as lost and alone in business and overwhelmed and confused in business as I did in my first business. So I have a mission, but I need to show up in order to make that mission happen. Good morning, Rachel. This is such a good topic for you being an intuitive eating expert. So um, what I have learned about my weight is that it has certainly held me back, but not because of the way that I look, but more because of the way that I think. And I wonder if you are doing this too, if you're not showing up for your business because you're afraid of being seen or heard. I meet a lot of women who are hiding from themselves and their business and the world, even though they have such a powerful message to share. And when I was talking to my friend last night, uh, talking about the photo membership group where every month I get together with other women and our, our photographer takes amazing photos of us and I'm heavier than most of them. I'm older than most of them, but I keep showing up because the, the synergy that is created and also the beautiful photos that are created help me keep moving my brand forward. But that's not the only thing, you guys. Yes, my business has grown and I actually have a full practice, but what is better is I look at the photos and I'm not like, oh, look at me, I'm so gorgeous, but I'm like, oh, look at me, there I am. There I am helping people and I am able to put my stuff out there and like myself better. And so the irony is for years, I have been not looking at myself in the mirror, not looking at myself in photos, not taking photos of myself. And that hasn't helped me like the way I look any better. It hasn't helped me like myself better. But in this year and a half that I've been doing these photo shoots with my photographer, I have come to like myself better by actually looking at myself, by accepting and enjoying what I see there and noticing that I'm the only one who's judging myself so harshly. Are there haters out there? Are there people who are thinking bad things about me? Of course, but why would I give those people much thought? Why would I spend any time on what those people think? Because that doesn't bring me peace. My goal every single day is to have peace. And so the irony is it is not in the hiding where we start to grow our business or achieve our goals or even like ourselves and enjoy our lives. It is in the showing up and doing really scary shit that that starts to happen. Hi, Jackie. Thanks for watching. And what I've started to notice is the more that I show up and do scary things like look at myself in the mirror, even though I see what I, what's happening to my face and I see what my body looks like and how different it looks from even five years ago. I like it better. I like myself better. I like my life better because I'm not hiding from it. And recently I had to do, and I put the had to do in quotes, um, 
three webinars in order, like that was just a hurdle that I've had to get over in my business. And I really resisted doing these webinars because it requires promoting directly. It requires a lot of emails. And then it requires showing up and saying, hey, I have something to teach you. And if you need to learn, I can help you, right? So there's a, there's a sales element to it too. And I'm not lying. I have avoided it for three years because it's a version of seeing yourself. It's a version of putting your shit out into the world. And some people aren't going to like it. Some people are going to unfollow and unsubscribe and not buy and not want to work with me. And I've had to be okay with that. So with the support of my coach, I did these three webinars and I was really happy with them. I thought they were, um, that's right. Rachel says they are there no matter what size you are. I don't give them any power anymore. And I think Rachel's talking about the people who have negative things to say about us. Um, but when I did my webinars and I put those emails out there and I showed up for the webinar. Frankly, I'm really happy with the way that they came out and I met some new people, but I had to do it even though I was afraid. So today's message, this is taking me a lot of courage to do today, but I was doing my hair and getting dressed and I'm like, I really think, thank you, Jen. I really think that people need to hear this message that it's not in the hiding from yourself. And like, I don't want to cry, but I might. It's not in the hiding from yourself where you get better. It's not in the hiding and not looking where you reach your goals. It's actually in the facing it and doing it anyway, even though it's scary. I will, t I will, um, I admit to you that I started this Facebook Live twice today and I shut it down because I just didn't feel ready. But I really want to share this message that, yes, my weight has affected how I run my business in the past, but it is in looking at that and accepting it and doing the work to move through it that has honestly made my business so much more successful than I ever could have dreamed. And it is in the doing hard things. So if you are waiting for the perfect moment, I promise you, there is no perfect weight, there is no perfect hair color, there is no perfect lipstick, I forgot to show up with makeup today. Like there is no perfect time to do the thing. You must do the thing even though you are afraid, even though you don't look perfect because I promise you, People want to be seen and heard. And if you can help them with their problem, if you can really see their problem and help them, they won't care what you look like. And if they do, I wonder, are they your people? And so I'm wondering, is, does this resonate with you? Is there somebody that you know needs to hear this message? Somebody that you know is hiding from something, maybe a relationship, a goal, a business, or something in her own life for herself that she's hiding from because she doesn't look good yet. And remember I told you I was talking yesterday to a friend about the photo group that I do. And she's like, well, maybe, maybe when I lose 20 pounds, I'm like, nobody cares if you lose 20 pounds. Like they really don't. They just want you to help them solve their problem. So I hope this has been helpful for you today. It was kind of cathartic to say, but yes, my business has affect my weight has affected my business and I, I'm kind of proclaiming no longer will I let that be the case. And I hope that you can show up for yourself too. Please share this with somebody that you know needs to hear it. And I'm happy to answer any questions that you want to drop below in terms of how I accomplish this. So thank you for all the hearts and all the love. I really appreciate it. And I will uh, ch chat with you again next week. Bye.